Hey there Seekers, I hope you're doing really well. Welcome back to Wild Lotus Tarot and to your weekly intuitive tarot reading. Just so that you know guys, I have almost finished the April monthly readings. I'll pop the playlist up here um, and I do apologize for them being a little bit late. I know I said the same thing last week, but I have had some ongoing health stuff and um, I'm almost on top of it. So fingers crossed that I'm going to be back to my best self really soon. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe if you could guys on the way out. It just really helps me out and helps the videos go that much further um, in the algorithm that kind of restricts reach for, for the smaller content creators like myself. So I'd be very grateful if you could do that. So guys, also as per usual, just want to wish you a week full of love and magic. Stay positive and let's head to your weekly tarot reading. Hi there Capricorn, welcome back to Wild Lotus Tarot and to your weekly intuitive tarot reading for April 12th through to the 18th. Capricorn, I hope you're doing really well. Let's take a look and see what just may be on the cards for you for the week. Getting started here with the Work Your Light Oracle. I'll then move to the Moonchild Tarot for a lead tarot energy and then use the Classic Rider Waite and Star Child Tarot Akashic for your tarot positions. Let's get one more of these. Okay, let's see what we've got, Capricorn. Dance with life. Do something to change your energy. This is kind of a way of saying, you know, if you do what you always did, you get what you always got. So if you want a different result, we need to do something to change our energy. And that's the magician's work. Changing your inner state, your inner game, raising your vibration from the inside, to change the energy that you're putting out there into the world. And when that energy is put out there in a high vibration, we will attract a match for that. That's how it works, guys. That's how the alchemy works. So it starts with you and it starts with your inner state. And if you're wanting to magnetize something like great abundance or an incredible life partner, you know, if you're not a match for that, if you don't hold that frequency, then we won't attract it. So we do our meditations first. We really feel into it. We fully believe that we already have that. And then that is what we are calling in. That's the process, guys. It's not enough just to say, I want this and expect it to come in. We really need to, to work on the energy. Answer the call. What is your soul calling you to do, Capricorn? You might be called to move towards a place, a person, a career, what is it that is on your heart, your burning desire? If you could really do anything with your life, what would you do? And then how can you take practical steps to move into alignment with it? What are the limitations that you're putting on yourself? I'm too old, I don't have enough money, I'm not in the right place. And how can you overcome those so that you can truly live in alignment with your, your higher self and your truth for life? Let's grab the overarching energy here, Capricorn. Okay, that one's not going in. I'll take it. I've got the Seven of Wands. Hey, this is an interesting energy, guys, because we're talking about doing something to change our energy. We're talking about answering the call and getting back into alignment. Now, the Seven of Wands is my energy of being out of alignment. It's when we're pushing against the grain, going against the current, feeling like things are, you know, needing to be pushed uphill. So is there an area of your life that you feel like this, where it's taking, you know, the majority of your energetic resources just to keep going with it? We're really having to fight for it. We're really having to defend ourselves. It could be in your job and you end up just really burnt out and frazzled at the end of the day. Sometimes our relationships feel like that. So it's about... Doing something to change our energy so we can get back into that state of ease, flow and grace. And that doesn't mean that life is, is easy all the time. We always have our challenges because that's how we are evolving our, our, our soul on this um, earthly plane. But when we go through a period where things are hard all the time, maybe across multiple life areas, and it's consuming to the point that sometimes we're getting burnt out, we're getting run down, we're getting sick. That is an indication, Capricorn, that it's time to, to start looking at those areas and, and, and making changes. And it could be because there is a deeper call 
that, you know, is wanting you to answer it, but potentially we, we are not recognizing it or we are sometimes ignoring it. Ignoring your truth, suppression. Let's get the energy of the recent past. That was a flash of your card, the Queen of Pentacles. Energy of the recent past with Capricorn. What are they releasing? I have got the Ten of Pentacles with the Ace of Swords. Okay, beautiful. New beginnings. Insight. Let's grab the current of focus energy. Page of Pentacles. Planting new seeds. Let's go for the outcome. Outcome or result for Capricorn. Five of Wands and there's something else there too. It is the Moon. Okay. Interesting. It's definitely fighting a cooling here because I've got the Four of Cups at the bottom of this deck as well. And I'm going to get the Clarifiers. Which will give us the extra layer of information that we need. So clarifying the Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, King of Wands. Clarifying the Page of Pentacles, the Chariot Cancer, number seven in the Major Arcana. Clarifying those end energies, the challenge energies there, I'm really feeling. Yes, I knew it. Death card. I've got three of pentacles. I've got the, the six of swords at the bottom of the deck. So guys, we do have really strong transitional energy here. We've got the six of swords, death card, and the chariot. So there is some kind of movement that is required here. Do something to change your energy. For some of you, it can be physical relocation making a decision, moving away, moving towards. There's a new seed to be started, a new beginning to be had. But if we stay where we are, we get more of the unfulfillment, more of the boredom, more of the frustration, more of the struggling. So that's what I'm kind of seeing. And I feel like you've already had the breakthrough. You've already had the insight and the moment of clarity, Capricorn, right? Recent past, King of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. So a couple of different things for some of you. What you are trying to, to manifest here may be that beautiful home environment, having enough abundance, increasing your financial resources, a best life reality, you know, having the happiness, all of that kind of state of stability. That could be what you're trying to, to manifest here. Maybe a home. For others of you, this is a 10. It can be a completion on the home front that is required to open up the new beginning. The King of Wands energy of Leo here is an energy of vision and discernment. It's showing you where you need to look, the area of your life you need to look in in order to basically create change or answer that deeper call. And it says it's to do with either career, finance or home. Like the pentacles are our physical resources. So I really see that there has been a moment of clarity there. You kind of know it'll be different for all of you because it is general reading. You will know what area is for you, obviously. It's probably why you're watching this reading in the first place. But it says it's time for you to bring alignment to your life. Align with your truth. Align with your calling. Claim a victory. And in order to do that, we generally need to cut ourselves free from something. Generally, new beginnings don't come in unless we go through endings, right? The chariot, the six of swords, and the page of pentacles. So the page of pentacles is the promise of the new. It's the seeding of the new. Some of you may actually get a new opportunity. The page of pentacles can bring in a new job, a new way to make money, a new home. Again, it's the pentacles energy. So I feel like we are potentially dealing more in that realm than relationships, although it can be commitments as well, because commitments have the solidity. But what the energies are saying, that in order to embrace that new opportunity and plant that seed and, and grow it and expand it, maybe through to the Ten of Pentacles that you're desiring, we need to make a move. Both of these energies can be relocation, movement, um, releasing the past and moving towards a sense of freedom and liberation. 
With the Six of Swords is about, you know, it's with a bit of a heavy heart that I need to move on from a situation, on from a previous career, whatever it is, and head into the unknown. It's like going into the fog here, you know, there is a real sense that we don't really know all the details of where we're heading and how it's going to play out, but we're really called to, to start that journey. The Chariot talks about leaving a sense of home or comfort zone, so that kind of goes with our Ten of um, our ten of Pentacles there. Maybe we are needing to leave behind a home situation in order to move towards a career calling or something like that. Often we need to make a big sacrifice to go to the next step in life. The Chariot asks you to make a clear decision. Don't be in two minds or be in the kind of toing and froing, or your chariot takes the windy path. We want to make a clear, aligned decision, and that's when we propel forward at pace. But there is a sense that this decision that you're making, even though it feels like a sacrifice, Capricorn, is leading you towards the sense of unbound freedom, liberation. You might not get that straight away, but I feel like that is kind of the, the promise of, of where it's all heading here. Now, if we don't take the transition, I kind of feel that this is the energy that surrounds you. Four of Cups, Five of Wands, and the Moon. The Four of Cups is the energy of being unfulfilled. There's levels. It can be boredom. It can be um, feeling, uh, you know, energetically kind of disconnected, um, you know, apathetic. That's the word I'm looking for. Um, disconnecting from your current circumstances because the bigger dream, right, the bigger manifestation, one, two, three, is burning on your heart. So you've already pulled away from where you are now, but there's a sense here of not taking action yet. And when we don't take action, we end up conflicted. You know, things get sort of, you know, petty arguments in our, in our relationships, in our workplace. Energy is being expended in the wrong areas. That's what I'm kind of feeling is if we stay where we are, that's what we get. The moon um, also is about, you know, undercurrents and, you know, this kind of energy of, it can be sort of anxieties and paranoia and like, I feel like when we kind of ignore those callings, sometimes we kind of get into that mode where it's like, you know, I really want to be doing that thing, but I just can't, you know, but it's still burning away in your subconscious, but you just feel like the path isn't clear. This is a Pisces energy, there might be a Pisces in your mix as well. So that's what I'm kind of feeling. And it could mean that there's more to be revealed yet about the new opportunity. And maybe that you're kind of feeling a little bit in that holding pattern until you kind of get that, that piece of information. But here I'm finishing on the Three of Pentacles and the Death card tool called Transformation. The Death card says that there is really an ending, a big cyclic ending in your life that needs to, to happen in order to move towards the new manifestation. Three of pentacles, the three again. For some of you, it's going to be learning and development, apprenticeship, um, new opportunity in the workplace with others, that kind of thing. It can also be a creative venture or something that you've tried to manifest actually becoming solid, becoming stable. But we need to, to move away, to surrender, to allow something to complete, release or end first. That is usually the way, isn't it? And then we get to walk towards the light of the new. For some, we're coming out of a period of like a holding pattern, a, a stagnancy, a feeling confined, feeling restricted. And it's not until we kind of really say, okay, well, I'm, a, I'm willing to go above and beyond. I'm willing to put myself out there. I'm willing to move out of the comfort zone that things begin shifting, right? Do something to change your energy. Some of us are going to actually need to, to make a bold move first. So it's, it is the death energy. It is the energy of Scorpio here, Capricorn. But it's also the energy of transformation. It says by allowing things to pass that are due to pass, by embracing the new, after that moment of clarity, moving forward, accepting that change requires bold moves, slowly but surely you begin to transform your life. And it starts with transforming your energy. Capricorn, I'm going to leave it there and I do hope you enjoyed this reading. 
keeping in mind it is a general reading for the collective so it may or may not be for you this time around feel free to drop me a comment if you're cool to share I do read them all and try my best to interact with you all over there as well helps me go get to know you guys connect with the energy and see what's happening in the collective it has been a pleasure Capricorn I will see you back here for another one next time bye for now Bye. <laughs>